hi guys welcome back to my channel sugar mama tv so the other day i made you guys a video where i shared with you the simple things that i do in the morning to help i guess get the most out of my day so that i feel like i'm really efficient on top of things in control and it helps minimize the bad days or it helps me get my head into the right perspective and attitude to just handle challenges in a really calm rational and proactive way Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video and that you are applying some of the habits that I suggest and that you are feeling and seeing the benefits already. Anyway, when I was making that video for you guys, I realized I also should probably share with you what I do in the evening because what I do in the evening really helps that morning um, run really smoothly. And so for this video, it's just a short one. I'm sharing with you five things that I do almost every single evening, um, quite religiously, because my meaning, my evenings are also quite sacred, to, I guess, make sure that I am ready to embrace the morning when I wake up. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. But one really quick thing, I need to ask you guys a question. Ages ago, I had a huge amount of requests for people asking me to do ASMR video, which is basically where um, people whisper um, to the camera to help people fall asleep. Now, I used to use this technique to help me fall asleep in the middle of the night when I was struggling with insomnia. And it is really powerful listening to the words of someone whispering. Now, I haven't had any requests for a while, but it was weird. I had this huge amount of lists um, of people wanting to me to do it. If you want me to still do it, I've actually decided I am ready to do it if you guys want me to do it. And I actually w was thinking I would do this video sharing with you the things that I say to myself um, to help myself fall back to sleep because they do help. So if you think I should do it, let me know through making a comment in this video. All right, moving on to my five great evening habits for you. All right, habit number one, have a clean house before you go to bed. Nobody should start their morning off cleaning and tidying their home. Make sure you stop and take a little bit of time to tidy and get things organized. Now, because I get up early tidying up the house in the evening when my brain is like completely shutting down, it's actually really hard. And there are plenty of times where I really could not be bothered at all and I feel really lazy. So when I am like this, I still try and make an effort. And I do one of these two different techniques. One is I will set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes. I'm obsessed with the number 10, I'm a bit OCD. And it's really quite interesting because your amaze is actually how much you can get done in 10 minutes. It's almost like you're trying to race the clock. And so I will try and spend 10 minutes just tidying either one room or the whole house or you know wherever I feel stressed and anxious. And it actually is really powerful to see how much you can actually clear. So that when you do wake up in the morning, you wake up in a really calm, tranquil, harmonious, clean, organized space. Now the other technique that I do when I'm really tired and feeling extremely lazy is I just give myself the number 10, as I said, I'm a bit OCD. And I will walk into a room and say, all right, just find 10 things to put away. Or I will find 10 things across the house in general to put away. And it does make a huge difference. But nobody can get a, I don't, well, I don't feel, I don't believe that falling asleep, particularly in a bedroom that's full of uh, mess and clutter creates a, a quality deep night's sleep because remember you want your sleep to be really um, like efficient I should say um, so that you can recharge yourself for an amazing day so tidy your home before you go to bed recommendation number two for the evening is preparation when I am planning on getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning, um, it is really hard. It's warm in bed, it's dark. Um, I could think of a thousand excuses, but when I do a little th few things like preparing for that morning um, alarm going off, um, it actually means I'm, it forces me to get out of bed. So little simple things like, you know, tomorrow morning it's um, Sunday, Sunday night here and I'm gonna get up at 5 a.m. and go for a walk and a dip down to Bondi Beach. So I have my swimmers and my sneakers sitting by the bed already so that I can't think of any excuses. But there are other things you can do like, for example, if you're one of those people that can never think about what they want to wear that day, put the outfit that you're going to wear out so it's ready to go on. You don't waste time panicking or freezing thinking like, what am I going to wear or how am I going to dress myself today? Other little things like preparing 
preparing your snacks to take to work or preparing your lunch to take to work. Get organized. Make sure you make the most of your mornings so that you're not wandering around aimlessly wasting time. Recommendation number three is to do your list of things to do. Now, I find that when I do this, I wake up with intention purse purpose purpose um, purpose and drive I know exactly what my priorities are and I know exactly what needs to be done and why when I do my list of things to do for the following day before I go to bed I will also circle or highlight or like put asterisks against it or exclamation marks against it so I know what my priorities are those are the things that I cannot come up with excuses no more procrastinating that must be done you know as, but as I go through my list, they've got to be up the top of the list. They've got to be my priorities. And I think about the feeling I will um, experience when I know I've actually finally gone and done those things. I've you know, kicked any bad habits and I've t stepped up to the plate and just am being efficient. So do your list of things to do. And that might be just simply lying in bed, you know, putting notes in your phone and things that you need to do, or it might be pen to paper. But make sure you wake up with intention, purpose, and drive by having that list of things that you're going to get done that day. Recommendation number four is gratitude. Now, this is something I do alone and I also do with Rocco. It's called the highlights of our day. And it's a really beautiful bonding thing um, where we um, lie in bed together and talk about what were the best things that happened that day. And it's really good because it puts both of our minds into, a, uh, into obviously a happy place. Um, but we realize how it's the simplest, most the simplest things that are so incredibly precious and beautiful. Like Rocco will say, like the highlight of his day was like me picking him up from daycare or cooking dinner together or making burritos or, you know, and you just realize the importance of connection um, to the people that we love. Um, when I am home alone um, or I even if I'm having trouble sleeping, I will give myself a say to myself think of 10 things that you are grateful for and they do not need to be like amazing things like materialistic things they can if you want them to be but they're simple things like I'm so grateful to have clean fresh running water if I want to go get a glass of water I am lucky enough to be able to turn the tap on and it's flowing freely um, other things like I'm grateful to have a roof over my head I'm grateful to have an amazing friend that's so supportive and encouraging I may, I'm, I'm grateful to have like um, parents who are still here, like little things like that that make you kind of get perspective of your life, especially if you're feeling stressed and anxious. And um, when I really believe you, you get more of what you appreciate. So it does kind of calm the brain and, and prepare the brain for a really nice good night's sleep, hopefully full of amazing dreams. And then my final recommendation is to nurture, and that is nurture relationships with yourself and with the people around you. Now, things like going to bed together if you have a partner is really, um, really powerful and really um, helps the relationship um, and strengthens the quality of the bond. When you go to bed to bed together, you will tend to connect. You will download on things that have you know you haven't had time to talk about during the day or with you know juggling like cooking dinner and children and bedtimes and bath times and um, or even just you know the distractions of um, and, and routines of our everyday lives sometimes we like ships crossing at night but when you can try at least one or two nights a week where you go to bed together it is I think very healthy for the relationship if you're not in a relationship or you, you the person you are with doesn't actually live with you or, or sleep in the same room as you um, sometimes just going to bed by yourself and checking in about how you're feeling you know thinking about the day thinking about you know um, what you're grateful for thinking about how you're feeling um, things that you're looking forward to just like regrounding recalibrating clearing the mind and just, you know, getting a good perspective of where you are in life and, you know, any sort of little adjustments that you think would be, um, you know, good. It's like having, you know, that list, letting that wise voice that exists within all of our heads when we allow it um, the space to actually speak, you know, allowing our intuition to talk to us, allowing our gut to talk to us, and even almost like a little, it's like a mini form of um, meditation for the mind. So use the time in the evening to connect and reground yourself and recalibrate yourself.
Anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, you need to let me know if you want me to do this ASMR um, video where I whisper and help you fall asleep because um, I am quite excited about making it for you if you still want me to. Um, I hope that you guys are having a great week. I hope that the information I'm sharing with you in these videos is helping in your life. Um, and if you have any video requests, as always, please make sure you put them in the comments box below. I am working through my list, I promise, and you will see um, very shortly a video with my opinions and thoughts on Bitcoin. So get ready for that. And if you haven't already, please make sure you sub subscribe. And also you can follow me on Instagram at SugarMamaTV. Have a great week, guys.